hey i hope you're doing well uh so in the last video we flashed the sd card and got connected to the rpi next we will install clipper firmware and get our main config file ready generally we uploaded the firmware via the sd card but we can cut this whole step and simply complete the same process in dfu mode now i will tell you how to do that as we move ahead in this video okay now i will get connected to my rpi through putty uh, if you don't know how to do that you can refer to the last video okay so the login id is pi and the password is raspberry we have to install clipper firmware now i will link this in the description just copy this and paste it in the terminal also i just want to say i'm telling you this step by step because a lot of you might not have a coding background and might get intimidated with a lot of commands and tools that are used uh, but trust me it's quite easy and just go ahead and complete your project after this you can literally control your 3d printer okay so if you are a beginner and if you're just starting out um, and maybe this is a little bit confusing what we have here is we have two things we have octoprint and clipper so octoprint is basically a web interface to control and monitor all aspects of your printer and secondly we have clipper which is a 3d printer firmware okay so clipper is installed now uh, we have to go ahead and flash a microcontroller so copy this okay after this you will get clipper firmware configuration just select all the data about your microcontroller okay after the information just save it okay now i'm gonna run make What this does is basically whatever the information we filled right now, it's going to package it all and give us a complete flash file. Okay, so we got the clipper.bin file. Uh, let's go ahead and check that in WinSCP. Uh, WinSCP is actually a file transfer client. So it's the same as putty. Okay, so we are just doing that to check the location of the file. Uh, it should basically be in clipper.out. Okay. And there it is, clipper.bin. So I have used octopus board. So I'm just going to put some pictures for your reference. This is for the jumpers. Green you have to keep and red you have to remove. And this is the pinout diagram. You might need this diagram for the configuration file later. And this is how you're going to connect it to the Raspberry Pi. Make sure that you keep those two jumpers that are highlighted for the next part of the video okay so we need the id of the serial chip so first we are going to do ls usb uh, this is for displaying the information about the usb buses so i did not get it now so if this happens with you so just reset the microcontroller uh, the reset button is next to the usb c port so now i got it Okay, STM device in DFU mode. So we are going to use that ID. Now we'll just flash 
रखा माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो मेक फ्लैश फ्लैश डिवाइस एंड दी आई डी It is necessary to determine the serial port connected to the microcontroller. So just copy that and paste it. This is a serial port, and this ID is gonna go in a configuration file. So make sure that you copy this and save it. Okay, so now we are done. We have installed Clipper firmware. and we have completed booting up a microcontroller without the sd card okay so now we just need a configuration file that you can directly download from the software configuration in voron documentation i will link that in the description so this is how the configuration file looks like This is the serial ID that you have to put the one that we saved. Okay, I hope this was helpful and feel free to ask any questions in the comments. I will link all the sites and all the product descriptions below. I know a lot of you are asking for the product sourcing, so I'm going to complete that video and upload it soon. Uh but yeah, till then bye. See you next time.